We're here today with the Introduction to Engineering Design Hovercraft Project. It's a, a course that all incoming freshman students at the University of Maryland must take. On the very first day, we formed students into teams, and we asked them to design and build an autonomous hovercraft that can meet a set of very challenging product specifications. Each semester, we change the mission of the project to, to keep it fresh. The mission this semester is for students to design a vehicle that can locate, retrieve, and transport a payload through a 4x4 four four meter track. Working on this project has is, been a, amazing. I mean, it's, a, it's very stressful staying up like late nights, but being a freshman coming in and being able to work on a project like this is just amazing, learning so many new things. I think the big advantage of this class for freshmen is it really gives them a taste for engineering. Plus, they get to learn a little bit about the different branches of engineering because they have to learn about electronics, propulsion, mechanical design, aerodynamics. It's very educational for them and it gets them enthusiastic about the subject. More and more, our engineering students are coming in with less practical knowledge. In earlier years, they'd worked on the farm, they'd repaired tractors, they'd done many, many different things with their hands. Our attempt at the Keystone program is to keep some of that applied knowledge in the program and not only give them the theory behind what, uh, what they need to know, but also some very practical experience. As a result of that, we've seen our retention rates uh, skyrocket compared to most all universities in engineering throughout the United States. Our aim is to graduate two out of every three engineers, and I think we're going to reach that goal within the next year. We believe that this early exposure to engineering design and competition helps build the future. We've entered some really significantly worldwide competitions. One of them was the Department of Energy Solar Decathlon Competition. The global goal of the competition is to essentially produce a net zero off the grid home that is only solely powered by solar energy. We were fortunate in 2011 to be selected as the number one winner. Other competitions that we participate in are the Sikorsky Prize, which involves the development of a human-powered helicopter. The students come from aerospace and mechanical engineering, and they've been working on this project for about three and a half years. Their very first flight literally broke a U.S. record. The SAE Formula One competition involves students in mechanical engineering literally designing, constructing, building, and competing a Formula One-looking car. Our students do a fantastic job every year. They typically place in the top five, if not first or second. And this is worldwide. Another hallmark of our program with respect to service opportunities for our students is Engineers Without Borders. It's a national program, so we simply are just one chapter here at University of Maryland. But our students love this program, and they go overseas where they do uh, projects in developing countries, which involve solar power, uh, clean water, uh, building schools, all types of projects that will help another community that is less fortunate than maybe us in the United States. The Clarkson is a great place for students who want to start their own businesses. Some of our alums have invented things such as the universal product code, uh, soft contact lenses, digital satellite XM radio. Um, but today, students in the Clark School can actually get involved with innovation and entrepreneurship in multiple ways. We are really trying to inspire the next generation to take their ideas to the next level. I believe research experiences allows our students to do something that they're interested in, write about it, present about it, and then it allows them to imp improve their retention and graduation rates because they're doing something they like to do. Originally, I'm from New Jersey, but I was really attracted to the Clark School of Engineering not only because of um, just the beauty of Maryland, but also because of how much opportunities they had for undergraduates to do research. Doing research here has enriched my engineering education because it's taught me so much about the broader field of engineering. I've learned how to apply the things I'm learning in the classroom to the actual real-world applications, and I get to see just how important research is. We're fortunate to have Absola working in the sensors and actuators lab. She's been helping us with our research on lab-on-chip optical pump. So a lab-on-chip is a device that integrates one or several laboratory uh, functions into a small chip that can be used for disease detection or uh, detection of a environmental threat in the field. Research can let the students go deeper into a subject that they're already studying or explore a new subject outside of their normal areas. Research can also help students to gain hands-on experience 
think creatively, which kind of something that they cannot gain from their coursework. I'd recommend the Clark School of Engineering to other undergraduate students because here I am today already doing research as a sophomore. I have a publication under my belt and I'm ready to, for the, whatever the future has to hold. Today's student must be much more diverse in his or her skill sets. They must be willing to potentially learn another language, live in another culture, and be able to communicate and work effectively with their engineering skills as well. The Clark School has developed a program to respond to that kind of student. We are building better engineers for the future, and moreover, it's obvious that it helps retention and graduation rates.